Hi there, welcome back to a beautiful spring day here in the Pyrenees. Hi, I'm Julie and this is Ian and today we are finally getting to finish off the last major project on our homestead. Well, for at least this year anyway. <laughs> a polytunnel is going to be a major part of our growing and propagation here on the homestead. So in this video, which will be part one of two, um, we will put up the hoops, secure the baseboards down, and I'll show you the preparation of our no dig beds, which there is a, a video prior to this one, so we'll put that link in the, um, the description below for you to check out. So if you've not already subscribed, click that little button, subscribe and follow us, because it's going to be quite an adventure this year. We're doing all our planting, getting our animals, so it's, there's a lot. Plus, don't forget the uh, container house project. Um, it's, it's starting. It's very slow at the moment because it's all through the planning permissions. Um, but uh, yeah, we're going to be getting on with that this year, which is uh, great news for us. So um, let's get on with this hoop house. Right, we're back with all the um, polytunnel parts from my son's house um, here they are in the trailer so we're just going to offload those now and then five meters wide by nine meters in length. We use the Pythagoras rule to give us the diagonal of 10.3. So we've, after a bit of fiddling we've got it all measured out correctly uh, so we can start erecting. Oi, Mr. Floki, are you supposed to be in here digging? On this unit, each of the ones, each of the bars has a little cutout, except for the end ones, which are just flat all the way around. And that little cutout comes onto the join. So what I've done is put a little bit of grease just to help insulation, and that slides on and locks in to the into into the bar here and that stops it twisting so we've got uh, three joints per hoop so we've got the first two hoops up and I uh, don't know whether you can see that one's locked in okay they're, they're locking in but they're very very fiddly because as soon as you move one, another one moves. So uh, we're taking it slowly. I'll just put a strap on up there to uh, put it. But we've laid out all the bars. Uh, we'll give another row a go and see how that happens.
So after doing seven, six of the uh, hoops, we've realized the easiest way is to do it in sections just like that. On the lap axles for today, we've managed to put the frame up of the polytunnel hoop house. Uh, so we've got on quite well today. Lots of tweaking because we've never put one of these up before. So it's a bit of a learning on the go. And we managed to master the art of it on the last hoop. So that's that's today for us, for me, Julie, little Freya and Floki, the sausages. There's a very low airliner. We normally just see their white streaks. Right, we're just installing the, uh, the base planks for the, the hoop house. And uh, Julie uh, oiled these the other day and they were dead jet black. And now they've, they've turned out a nice color, but we're gonna put a few more coats on anyway. And what I've done is just put a coach bolt through here, uh, just to strengthen the base of the hoop house before we put all the plastic on and also strengthening wires. But uh, it's nine meter long, the hoop house. These planks are only four meters long. So I've got a one meter strip in the middle. 94. Just getting rid of this horrible bit on the end. A bit of a waste. seem to be covered in sand everything's covered in sand we must have had some sort of a sandstorm during the night so everywhere
as you can see the same principle as what we've already done cardboard and then this is the first layer of compost which will allow to co will compact down and then uh, more compost will go on and the idea is for the cardboard to rot and to suppress the weeds and this will be the height of the compost, the finish height so I've got quite a lot of digging and shifting of compost to do That's it, all the beds have done the outer boards are all in place and secure so now it's a case of waiting for the end frames to be finished before the plastic going on ah, it's coming together it's getting there well the hoops went up really well we're pleased with that so in the next video we'll um, secure the hoops with tension wires we'll get the side trenches dug and hopefully hopefully we'll get this plastic on but we do need a calm day otherwise i'll end up in africa and then both of us really enjoy doing these videos, it's, it's great doing them. So uh, if you've liked this video, please give it the thumbs up because it does help the channel. And we're not perfect, we're not professionals. Any comments that could help us or any tips to push us in the right direction if you see we're doing something wrong, especially with the erection of this hoop house, please put your comments below because it's gratefully appreciated. So, yeah. so until the next time, adianto. See you next week.